Hello, I'm Michael James, and it's time for Question of the Week. Why is it called a movie trailer if it happens at the beginning of a movie? Why, why, why? It's a complete movie riddle. Like, Kevin Spacey's character in Usual Suspects, he admits to the detective that he killed Saul Berg early in the movie. But then, later on, he gives the secret identity, the supposed secret identity, to Kaiser Sose, to the detective. And the detective just lets him walk out the door like nothing happened. Like he didn't kill Saul Berg earlier in the movie. <laughs> Makes no sense. So I'm out at the movie theater a couple weeks ago going to see the Jason Bourne movie with my wife and my in-laws. And uh, the movie trailers start playing, which I love watching movie trailers. I like to rate them. I like to guess whether the film's going to be a success or not. And my father-in-law turns to me and he says, Yo, bro, you do these movie things. How come they call it a trailer if it happens before the movie? I quietly smile, you know, look at them, mm-hmm, go back into my movie trailer watching world, and then it hits me. It just starts bouncing around in my brain. Why do they call it a movie trailer? That makes no sense. For the rest of the movie, I mean, Jason Bourne's a great movie. Lots of action going on. But I couldn't tell you any of the main plot points because all I was thinking about was why are the movie trailers playing before the film? They should be at the end of the film. Well, after doing some research, thank you, Google. You are the best invention in the world. Movie trailers did play at the end of movies. They didn't play in the beginning. They started in 1913. Uh, a movie house manager of a bunch of East Coast movie theaters uh, started playing trailers that were created at the, at the movie theater at the end of films to help promote other plays and stuff going on. After these started taking on, other movie theaters across the country started adapting this, this style of putting a trailer at the end of the films to promote other stuff. And by 1916, major studios caught on to this and started making their own trailers. And then they even started, companies started popping up and making trailers themselves who would then, the studios would just hire, make it easier for the studios to have them, send them a couple, uh, not, not clips, but pictures of their film, and then the, these, these new companies that were building trailers would put a trailer together for their movie that would play at the end of another movie. And that's how the movie trailer making business got, got started. Famous directors like Alfred Hitchcock and Stanley Kubriak, they actually started doing stuff at the end of their movies as trailers too. Like Alfred Hitchcock would, uh, for the end of Psycho, he put a section in where he actually was walking around explaining the set of the Bates Motel. So that was like another way that they used kind of these trailers to entice the audience into wanting more. As trailers kept on advancing and advancing, uh, these companies that were making them for the studios started adding text and started adding, you know, stylized music to, you know, make it its own little small movie into kind of what the trailers are we see today. As movie trailers became more bigger business, uh, it wasn't until, I didn't even realize this, Jaws was the first movie that was actually rolled out nationwide. Uh, before Jaws, actually, films were rolled out into big cities first, and then a couple weeks later, they'd get to the smaller areas. Jaws was the first one to go nationwide. Um, and it was around this time that movie trailers started to be playing before movies. So there you have it. That's why trailers are played before a film and not at the end. And, you know, as this ba is done bouncing around in my head and I've researched all this, it just hit me. I should have turned to my father-in-law and said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what a trailer is. I'm watching a movie preview. Mind blown. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Don't forget to check out last week's question, who are the Duffer Brothers? You can also check out the other videos on my channel, and you can click right here to see a new channel I have with my daughter, Lily, where we do a lot of kid things and play with kids' toys like Paw Patrol. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that fly at the end. Peace out.